Hello, yogis. This is a yin practice. Yin goes a little bit slower. It's cool. We don't use our muscles as much because we're trying to get a little bit deeper, going into our connective tissues, our ligaments, our joints, getting into that layer of fascia through our body, trying to break up and create space. For today, we're going to need a blanket, two blocks, and a bolster. We can use books in replacement of the blocks and one to two pillows for that bolster. We just need those for extra support. We wanna ease our bodies into these shapes, not necessarily push and force ourselves to make them. Now, it's very important that you listen to your body because yin can be a little bit more uncomfortable. We are embracing an edge between a lot of pain and not any sensation at all, trying to find a middle ground in between those. So it's very important that you listen to yourself. I'll give some modifications as we go, but as always, if you need help, please pause the video, email me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with modifications. Now, these will be uncomfortable, so just breathe through them. Settle in. Let the sensation sort of guide your mind into the present moment, finding a little stillness. Now yin, because it does move slower, we'll be holding these postures for longer periods of time. If you need to come out of them, please come out of them, get some movement around. We don't have to be completely still. We just want to move slower. We want to give those ligaments, joints, time to feel the pressure. It's all about putting stress on those muscles, on those ligaments, on our bodies to create space. For today, we'll be focusing on the iliopsoas. So this is two muscles combining together, separate in the abdomen, but coming together in our thigh. So that's the iliacus and the psoas major. These are used to bring flexion into our hip. So if we feel weak in those, we may not be able to hold like a lunge, say in the front of our leg for very long because it might feel weak. So we wanna build on strengthening that passively through this yin practice. I also wanna focus on opening that area up. So same pose, just in like in that lunge, the back leg, when it's extended, we may feel tightness in that hip. So we're gonna build that and stretch it today. So, Grab some water, grab those props, and I'll meet you on your mats. Hello, we've got our blocks, our bolster, and our blanket. And at this time, I also encourage you to grab your favorite candle if you have one. Light it, place it off to the side so you can smell it throughout our practice. Or if you have a favorite essential oil to put in a diffuser, go ahead and do that now as well. All right, we will get started. Go ahead and grab your blocks. Place them at the front edge of your mat. Bolster will come out to the side just to be nice and handy. I'm gonna scoot it towards the back so you can see what I'm doing. For our blanket, before we lie down, go ahead and unfold it to about this width. We'll all probably have different styles of blankets. And then take this blanket, fold it long ways in half, and then down the middle the opposite way. Once we have that, just smooth it out. Make sure there's no rolls or kinks that you feel around. And then we'll take that blanket one more time. Fold it in half. Before we lie down, just make sure the folded edge is facing your feet and the edge that's open is facing your head. Placing this down on our mat. And instead of scooching way up towards the edge, we're just gonna bring that blanket underneath our low back. Take a moment, feel what you feel. And if you need to adjust, take this time to do that as well. If there's not enough of a roll in the blanket, if we're seeking a little bit more lift, we can take that blanket and instead of folding it in half, we bring it into thirds. So if you're doing this, just make sure once you fold it, we flip it back over so the smooth edge is underneath our backs. 
If the blanket fold is already too much, feel free to slip it out from underneath your back or bend your knees. So when we bend our knees, we take some of that angle out and supplement it. If your knees are bent, walk your feet towards the sides of your mat and let your knees collapse together. So we can relax. Hands rest down by your sides. Get nice and comfy, nice and stable. Close your eyes. Bring awareness to your breath. Not changing anything about your breathing, just acknowledging where you are today. the breath doesn't travel to feel in your body where your breath is putting its pressure so maybe your upper chest is rising maybe your belly is moving ribs are shifting to create space Also take them as deep as you can get them. First filling up the belly, letting it rise. Ribs shift to create space for your diaphragm. And the upper chest lifts as well. So this three part breath as you exhale, releasing the chest, belly, ribs. Making this nice, deep, and lengthened breath in out. As you breathe, relax your belly. Let it hang. Inhale, 
and filling up and then pressing that belly out as far as you can. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Belly button comes back to spine a little, almost hook up. Giving yourself a nice belly hug. Inhaling, filling up with air, relaxing. Exhale, let everything return, fall, hug at the end. One more round of breath. Stay here for as long as you like. Yin is all about taking time and space based on what you need. Listen to your body, listen to your mind. Would you do well to stay here? And if so, stay. You can join us when you're ready. As we're lying here on our backs, if your knees are not bent, slowly start to bend your knees. reach the arms up overhead, little chest opener here. Exhale, arms come back down. Plant your hands by your side. Bring your chin towards your chest. Feet press in. Inhale, lift your hips. Remove your blanket off towards the side. And low back comes back down. Little press of that low back in. And rock your legs side to side. Embrace whatever movement you need. If you feel like hugging your knees into your chest, a little compression, you can do that. If straightening out the legs, stretching from fingertips and toes would feel nice, do that. Practicing this deep listening at the beginning so we can continue to listen throughout the practice. Yin is all about sensations. From here, go ahead and bend your left leg. Draw it in towards your chest. Sway the leg side to side, wiggle out ankles, toes, any movement again. Option one, we leave this right leg straight. Option two, we plant the foot down, especially if we need to create a bit more space in the low back. Find some stillness here. Knee comes close into our chest, relax those toes. What does this feel like in the front of your hip? What does this feel like in your glutes as I stretch in this posture? As you exhale, allow your leg to come out, knee stacks over hip, shin is parallel with your mat. Tops of hands rest on your thigh. Inhale here. As we exhale, we press our hands into our thigh and pull our thigh back into our hands, starting to warm up the hips, the muscles there, the psoas. Inhale, release the pressure. Exhale, add it back. Inhale, release. Exhale again. Inhale, release. This time as we exhale, we're going to hold here one full round of breath. Exhale, press. Inhale, press. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, last big time. Inhale, release your leg. Extend it all the way out towards the front. Start to bend your right knee. Pull it in towards your chest. Add that movement. Hips, ankles, toes. Stay 
stillness at the center. Again, left leg can stay straight or we can bend it. Create a bit more space for the back of the body if we're really tight there. Pull your knee into your chest. Relax your foot. Start to inquire what's going on on the right side of your body. Pay attention. Exhale, begin to bring the knee over hip. Shin is parallel, toes relaxed. Tops of hands come onto thigh, exhale. We start that press. Inhale, release. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, again, adding that pressure. Inhale, exhale, we press and we hold one full round of breath. Inhale, press. Exhale, keep that press. Inhale, release, extend your leg out towards the front. If your left knee is bent, go ahead and extend it as well. Big stretch, arms come up overhead. Point those fingers, point the toes. Maybe puff up the chest, tuck those shoulders up and under a little bit. Exhale, bend your left knee, bend your right, pull both knees into your chest, rock side to side. One more posture here to add a little release through our hips after all that neutral work. Plant your right foot down. Cross your left leg over your knee, figure four. Toes are relaxed, so not active. If we need to walk the right leg out to ease the pressure in that right hip, we can. If we feel good with the right leg in and this opening up the hip, we can keep it here. Tightness in this left hip, if it's too much, we just bring the foot onto the outside of the leg. This will naturally close the hip up a little bit. Try to avoid putting your foot on your knee. One round of breath here, we inhale. Left hand comes onto our inner thigh. We press and pull with the exhale. Two more times, inhale, release. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, release. Exhale. Good. Inhale, release. Uncross your leg, pull it into your chest. Interlace fingers behind your thigh, extend the left leg up. Little baby rocks here, forward and back. We don't have to be incredibly straight. If we're tight, we just want to go where our body is telling us to go today. A couple more rounds of breath in this movement, generating space passively through the hamstring. Next, exhale, drive your heel up towards the sky. Find a little bit more of a stretch. Inhale, knee comes back down. Little hug here, movement if you need it. Replant your left foot down. Exhale, right knee comes in. We cross the ankle over. So figure four on the side. Take time, adjust that left foot if you need to, to create space or to add a little bit more pressure in that hip. Again, if the opening of this right hip is too much, we bring the foot onto the inner thigh, closing up a bit. Exhale, right hand comes to right thigh. And we press and pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, add that work. Inhale, release. Last time, exhale. Inhale, release, draw your knee in close. Interlace the fingers around your thigh and then change the cross of your fingers. So different pointer finger, different thumb on top. Inhale, extend the leg. So again, finding that 
stopping point once we feel the tension in the back of the leg and add your box. your next exhale, drive the heel up towards the sky, inhale, leg comes back in, add movement if you need it, when you're done, both feet plant down, walk your left foot towards the left edge, right foot towards the right edge, let your knees come together, and then sway knees over side to side. Continue moving if you need it. Otherwise, we'll meet up into tabletop. We can rock and roll our way up, or if we want to keep this passive work, we just roll over on towards the right side. Press ourselves up, and then come into tabletop. If you're like me, tabletop puts some pressure on my knees that I don't enjoy, so I bring the blanket underneath them. The blocks are still towards the front of your bed. Knees are under hips, hands under shoulders. Start swaying your hips side to side, figuring out what your body needs. We'll be drawing some circles, rolling around. How can you create space here? Neutral spine, head is in line with our tailbone. We want to embrace that breathing that we did at the beginning. So as we inhale, we send that belly out. Belly starts to pull us down with gravity. Tailbone comes up. Gaze just lifts slightly. Exhale, we pull that belly button in. Big squeeze in the core when we get to the top. Tailbone tucks, chin to chest. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. One more round of this. Inhale. Exhale. If the hands are feeling tired at any point, we can bring the blocks underneath or roll up the edge of our blanket. From here, bring your right hand underneath your nose, press in to create space for that shoulder. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, we thread our arm through, drop our shoulder, drop this side of our head down. Press in with that right hand to open up through the chest. If this is too much, we can lift up and not put as much pressure on our shoulder. Another way we can lessen the intensity is to press in with that left shoulder to find a bit more space so we're not crunching into the joint. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we add a little extension with that right leg, toes tuck under. Option two, we press the top of the foot down, creating some tension in the top of our ankle, top of our foot. Next, exhale, draw the knee back in if it's extended. Press in with that right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, tabletop. So, wrists to create space. We bring those blocks underneath any level. I'm on level two. Two rounds of cat cow. Add additional movement, sway side to side if you need it. Roll shoulders, anything at all. When you are ready, hands come back down. Left hand plants underneath our nose. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, we thread it through. So drop the shoulder, drop the side of the head. Getting all set up, position nice and stable. Either staying here or extend the left foot out. Toes are tucked. 
or top of the foot is flat. Exhale, draw the knee back in. Press in with your left hand. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, plant it down. Blocks underneath those hands if we need it. Two more rounds, cat cat. Find your movement, find your space. Next posture we'll be taking is heart melting pose or puppy pose. So walk those knees back a little bit. If we're on that blanket, make sure they're still supported. Bolster our pillow nice and handy up towards the side. It'll help us figure out how deep we can go. We want to walk these hands forward and start to lower ourselves down. Now, what we don't want to do is to dump our belly down and crunch through our low back. We want to keep, almost as if we're coming up into that cow shape, nice tucked tailbone and lower the chest down. Now, if this is our stopping point, we stop here. We grab that pillow, that bolster, bring it underneath our forearms, rest our chin down, or we walk it out a little bit, rest our forehead down. Paying attention with the tuck of the tailbone, continuing that deep belly breath as we inhale, send the belly out. Exhale, hug it back in. One more breath. If we can go all the way down, Chest comes down, chin comes down, we can do that. One more round of breath in this final shape. Inhale, start to lift yourself up. Walk the hands back, find your movement, find your release. Relax, come back towards you underneath your hands. So everyone will have blocks just in case. You can always ditch them later on if you don't need them. We're going to step left foot forward in between our hands. Now, paying attention, we don't want that knee to come far over our ankle. We're not adding any pressure to our Achilles tendon today or the back of our ankle. Knee is either stacked over ankle or a little bit back. Blocks are here to keep our spine lifted, nice and relaxed instead of slumping over to reach the floor. If we have long arms and we can reach the floor comfortably, we can do that. Pause here. What do you feel in your body? Where are the sensations? What's talking to you right now? Inhale, we start to add that movement. Coming back. Exhale, bending. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. One more time, inhale. Exhale. From here, left hand stays on that block. If we need to lift the block up to level three, we can. We drive ourselves up. Now, if it helps, we can keep the right hand all in the left thigh. Left hand comes in line with our shoulder. Option one, hand stays on by option two, right arm comes up. And we exhale, side bend over. So create some space in the right side of your body without crunching your left side. One more round of breath here. Exhale, can we hinge a little bit more? Inhale, drop the right arm down. Drop the left, little break. Inhale, half split, straighten that front leg. Exhale, breathe in. This time, right arm stays down. Stack the block directly under your shoulder. Left hand comes to in, left thigh, and we exhale, twist. One more round of breath here. Next, exhale. Hands come down, we inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, back. One more breath, inhale. 
exhale. Option one from here. We come back on our backs to do figure four. Option two, we walk left foot over towards our left hand, and then start to walk it over towards the right. So this creates space in our hip as we drop the knee down towards the outside. So we're externally rotating our legs, same shape we did in figure four. Now, with the pull of gravity, this is gonna be a little intense. We wanna walk the right leg back, scooch it back, until we feel that pressure in the left hip. If it is too much, come onto your back, do this figure four. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders for now. Yin is all about finding your edge. We don't want to rush into the fullest expression of the posture if our body isn't ready for it. This is swan pose. So, Option one, we stay awake in this swan. We keep focusing on that belly breath. The inhale's feeling, exhale's hugging. Option two, we can either come onto our blocks on forearms, or if we have space, we come on to our mats. Pause here. Relax that foot. If the openness is too much, but we want to stay in swan, we just pull our heel back towards our right hip. One more round of breath. If we want to change our edge, if we've created space, we can come all the way down. So resting our head on hands, or arms can also come out all the way in front of us. Chin or forehead comes down. Three deep rounds of breath in this space. If this posture is serving you so well and you're enjoying it, feel free to stay here as long as you like. And as you inhale, you bring your hands back down on your mat, press yourself up, scooch the right leg back in, come on to the top of that knee. Hands frame the outside, and we pull the left knee back. Lots of movement in your feet. Sway your hips side to side. Take some cat cows. If you need it, widen those legs. Take a child's pose. Listen in. What would feel really nice right now? Maybe it's extending the left foot back, toes under, and rocking forwards and back. Maybe it's lifting the left leg, crossing it over towards the outside, of the right edge of our mat and then pressing and rocking here. One more round, find your movement. When you're ready, blocks come back under hands. Starting with the right side, right foot steps forward, find your lunge. Take your time. Again, be aware of what's happening with the knee and the ankle. We pause here. We want to be on the very tip of the edge of that back knee. So we're not directly on top, putting too much pressure there. Once you've taken a little inquiry of what's going on in your body, we can start to move three rounds of breath. The inhale, half split, straighten off the leg. Exhale, rebend into our lunge. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lunge. And yin, we call this dragon. So this is awake dragon. Well, right hand will stay down this time. We can always come up onto option three. Left hand can come on thigh to stabilize. Or we inhale, left arm up. Exhale, over towards the right. Creating space through the left side without crunching through the right. Last round of breath here, inhale, exhale, come back down. Moving one round of breath, inhale, have splits, exhale, drag in. Left hand stays down, 
Right hand comes onto our thigh and we twist. Inhale here. Exhale. Last round of breath. As you exhale, hands come down. Two rounds of breath, we move, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Good. Ditch those blocks out towards the front. Foot first walks over towards the right, hands plant down, and then we walk it over towards the left side of the foot, comes down, hip opens up, scooch the left leg back. Each side of our body is different, so if you feel too much sensation here already, come onto your back, take that finger forward. Take a moment here, again, listening before we press our bodies into shapes. On your next exhale, if you're ready to make this a sleeping swan, we can bring forearms on the blocks or onto the mat. Listen before you change. And what's now happened in that right hip, do we need to scooch the heel back towards the left thigh to create a little bit more space? Do we need to come up? You are twice staying on forearms or coming all the way down. Arms either bent out towards the sides or extended out towards the front. Relax your body. Continue that deep breath, that deep intentional breathing. If you stayed on the other side, stay on this side as well. When you're ready, inhale, press up. Scooch the left knee in. Stack it under your hip. Start to draw the right knee back. Big movement of the hips, side to side. Again, doing whatever feels good. It may be the same thing you did on the other side. It may be different. Just rocking, maybe drawing circles. If you need those blocks underneath your hands. I always like to extend my right leg out towards the back after swan or pigeon and cross it over. One more round of breath, doing what you need. And then we walk back off our blanket if we're there. Now, take your blanket unfold it again. So finding that first original shape. And this time we're going to fold it down the wide side first. So we folded long ways at the beginning of class. Fold it the opposite way here. After we have that, we're going to fold our blanket into thirds. So taking this first side, fold it so there's a little bit of space to then again fold it again. From here, just make sure the top is nice and smooth. The bottom edge has that flap. And once again, the folded edge is in the same direction as our feet. That open flap is the direction of our head. This blanket is gonna come underneath our thighs. So we're gonna walk ourselves forward and lower down. Now, we want to actually keep this off of our hip points. So if you look at me, the blanket is underneath my hips. I want to scooch the blanket back a little bit more. We are wanting to strengthen that iliac psoas. And so we bring that blanket directly in the middle of our thighs, avoiding the kneecap as well. Go ahead, lower yourself down. Elbows come out. Hands stack, either chin or forehead down. Let your body get a sense of how this feels, what's going on in your low back, how does the pressure feel among the tops of your thighs. Take 
deep belly breaths here again. So as we inhale, pressing your belly into the mat. Inhale, drawing it up. Option one, stay on your belly. Option two, we drive our elbows underneath our shoulders, forearms come out, coming into a sphinx. Now, if there's too much pressure in the low back, we just lower back down. If we feel good here, we stay doing a little dual pressure. As we exhale, we are going to press our thighs into that blanket. So it's really important that we're hugging the belly in when we have that press. So we take some of the work out of the low back as we engage our core. Inhale, find length, find space, grow tall. Exhale, press and hug. Inhale, release, fill up. Exhale, press and hug. Last time, inhale, release, relax. Exhale, press and hug, one full round of breath. So we inhale, exhale. Inhale, release, exhale. Everyone widen those elbows out. Chin comes down. Just sway your hips side to side. Nice little massage on the tops of those thighs. Draw your heels up. Feet face the ceiling. Windshield wipe. Little extra pressure on tops of the thighs. Inhale, legs out. Exhale, hands under shoulders. Press up. Widen those knees, mat width apart. Lower all the way down. Find your child's pose. Toes come together. Arms out front. Relax the forehead down. Option to keep this a more pressure-filled child's pose. Really letting gravity pull down. Letting the weight of your body press in. If it is too much, we grab that pillow. Bring it long ways in between your knees and lower down this way. So propping yourself up, taking a little bit of that pull out of gravity. If the blink, if the bolster is too low or the pillow is too low, we grab that blanket, propping it up a little bit and lowering down. Even while we're here, keeping that breath practice we've had throughout the rest of the class. Feel free to rest one side of your head down, resting right or left cheek. And I'm gonna cue when to switch just so we have a balance in our neck after this posture. We will be here a little bit longer than the others just to release our hips down, find that space through our spine. switch the direction, laying down whatever cheek that you haven't laid down. Breathe, relax into the shape. If your legs are starting to tingle or fall asleep, just coming up into a tabletop just for a little bit, shaking out, getting that blood flow in, and then sinking right back down into this child's pose.
next inhale lift your head exhale hands come down lift your hips off your knees start to bring some movement to your legs bring that bolster blanket off towards the side check in with your body find the movement you need We'll get set up for our next posture. Grab your blocks, bring them towards the front of your mat again. One block comes out front, other block comes out towards the side in case we want it. This blanket, we can keep it this flat fold or unfold it to that long fold we had before we folded it in thirds and start to roll it up. Now, I suggest only rolling it about to the same two-thirds point that we had for the fold, and then draping that blanket off towards the back of the mat, block is out in front of it. We want the extra parts of the blanket to be facing the same direction as our head, and this fold, this roll, will be facing the direction of our feet. Bolster, after we have that set up, is going to come down on our mat horizontally. So we want that pillow to be wide on the top, shorter on the sides. From here, we're gonna bring our hip down. So starting with the left side of our body, left hip comes down across that, and then scooch the bolster out a little bit. So coming into that side crease that we have, in between our hip and our rib cage, lying that down across the blanket. Left arm comes down, and that blanket is to put under the neck. So for some of us, we may need to roll it up a little bit if after we roll up that blanket a little bit more it's still too far down we're feeling too much in our neck we just grab that block that we set off to the side and bring it underneath that blanket covering it up with the blanket for a little extra cushion and then we're resting into the shape draw both of your knees together and then your left thigh is going to be pressing up against that pillow or that bolster. Right arm option to stay down on your hip or to generate a little bit more space through the right side body. We bring that arm up and overhead. Now, if the fingers can come down comfortably with the arm behind the head, we can keep the fingers down there. If there's too much space in between, that's what that block is for. So picking your options, option one, fingers rest, maybe we need a little bit higher, option two, or if we need a lot of extra support, option three. So your choice for that block, just so we can relax into this posture. Take five rounds of breath to let your body settle in. And if there's any tension that doesn't feel good, we just adjust. If that bolster is in a weird position, we move it around. If our head needs a little bit more support, we add and adjust there as well. If we're able to get nice and relaxed, we can stay. If we want to add a little bit more work, some of that pressure to build the psoas, the iliopsoas muscle, we start to bend the right knee towards us, reach around for the right ankle, and then draw the heel towards our high knee, sending that knee back towards our left foot. We can adjust the shape having the knee out or his back as we can grab it. Or we can come onto the top of the foot. If we want a little shoulder opening, we flip the hand to reach for the inner arch of our foot and then come down. So find your positioning. 
three rounds of breath. As we exhale, we start to add that work. So we kick the leg back and into the hand as we pull with the shoulder. Inhale, release. Exhale, we press and pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, release. Release the hand, drop the knee down. Return your arm up overhead or wherever you had it. Three rounds of breath, just allowing the body to settle back in. to always stay where you are or we scooch the legs back a bit creating space in between our thigh and the bolster lift the right leg up and cross the right ankle over the left knee so figure four here arm can be up overhead to keep generating that space to the right side body or if it helps we can return the right hand down Inhale, start to straighten your right leg out towards the front. Toes come up towards the ceiling as much as you can, moving with breath. So exhale, point those toes up towards your face. Inhale, toes come up towards the ceiling. So keeping your legs relaxed, keep moving with your breath. Exhale, over. Inhale to the top. Pay attention to the sensations as you continue to move through the side of your leg. Wherever you feel that pressure start, that's your edge. So we want to stay in that space, not pushing ourselves any further. And then back over. Next time we inhale up, keep the leg where it is. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, toes point back towards the side. Draw your knee in. Scoot your left thigh back up. Two more rounds of breath. Settle back in. Exhale, bring your right arm down. If it's not, start to move so you can drop the right hand down. Press in, lift up. Left hand presses into your pillow. We rise, crossing right shin in front of left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right arm drops. We create space through the left side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift. Last time, exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, arms slow down, changing our hips. So this time we bring the right side of our hip down, slowly lowering over the bolster and paying attention. Do we still like the same setup? Do we need to change things? Is this side of the rib cage a little shorter? Is there more space? Do we need to adjust the bolster? Do we need to change the height of the block? Once we have all that set, playing around with the left arm extending over the head, do we need the block? And what level do we need that block at? Take five rounds of breath once you're settled. up against the bolster, bring it up there. Next breath, start to lift 
your right leg, reach around top of the ankle or top of the foot. If we did that shoulder stretch on the other side, flipping the palm, reaching for the inner arch of the foot. Three rounds of breath. We exhale, pull and press. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull and press. Inhale. The last time, exhale. Inhale. Release the leg, drop it down. Arm can come back up overhead. Three rounds of breath to resettle, re relax it. Before moving into that figure four shape, scooching the legs back. Lifting the left leg, cross it over. Find that figure four. Pause here. The left arm can stay where it is, or again, we can bring it down if that's more comfortable for your body. Next, inhale. We start to extend the left leg out towards the front. And start that rotation. Exhale, toes come out towards your face. Inhale, toes back up towards the sky. Relax your foot. Exhale over. Inhale up. So paying attention, where does that tension start? On the side of your leg, the knee. Listening to your body, letting it guide you into your furthest extent of the posture. The next time we inhale, we stay. The exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, release the foot down towards the side. Draw your knees back in. Pull them back towards your bolster. Two rounds of breath, pausing. Resettle, relax. As you exhale, left hand comes down. Press back into your mat. Inhale, lift. Right arm presses up. We cross our legs, left shin out towards the front this time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, lift. Two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, release the arms. Go ahead and scooch everything off towards the side of your mat. Bolster stays towards the side within reach of your body. Blocks come back out towards your mat. And you won't need them anymore. Um, if you want the option to have them, just make sure they're within arm's reach. Our blanket. If it came out of the fold, we're going to return it back. And then if it's rolled up, unroll it. We're going to find that third fold again. Make sure, same thing, the fold is towards the direction of your feet, the flap and open is towards the direction of your head. Come down onto your back. I'm going to scooch this out of the way so you but this blanket, we're gonna have just folded up underneath our head, little support there. If when we get into the posture, it's too much, I'll guide you how to get out of it. But we don't have to pull our heels up towards us as if we're doing the active bridge pose. We can relax them out towards the sides, maybe a little bit out in front to create some space through our psoas again. Before we start finding stillness, hands come down by your side. A little activity, we inhale, lift the hips. Chin tucks a little bit towards the chest, exhale, lower. It's very important here, moving the breath, inhale, lifting the hips, that the gaze stays up, exhale, lower. You wanna keep the cervical spine long without rotating it.
Once you finish those three bridge lifts, the next time you inhale, we're gonna grab that pillow, and bring it underneath our sit bones. So inhale with the hips, draw the blanket or pillow underneath the low back sit bones area. Hands can rest on your belly. If the blanket underneath is adding too much lift through the spine up here and it's uncomfortable and we feel it, we just lower back down and move that bolster out and unslip the blanket from underneath our head. So your choice, blanket or not, just keeping that gaze lifted up towards the ceiling and listen to my voice. I will guide you through everything that you'll need to do. If for some reason you feel like looking over at me, just release yourself off of the pillow before you look over. Like every single other pose we've done, allow your body to adjust to the shape. Deep belly breath still. Hug at the bottom of your exhale. At the bottom of your next exhale, bring that left thigh up, knee parallel to the hip, shin parallel to your mat. Hands come on top of your side. We may only be able to get that left hand up. That's totally fine. Exhale, we press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, release. Start to lengthen your left leg all the way out in front. Little stretch through the top of the hip. We can even point the toes. If this is too much, we just extend the leg out as far as we can. Keep that press in with the right foot. If the left heel is not lowered, we want to keep the hips nice and straight. Inhale here. Exhale, drag the left heel back, plant your foot down. Other side, right knee comes in, stacking over hip, right thigh parallel to the mat. We exhale, press and pull three rounds of breath. Inhale, release. The next inhale, we release and extend the leg. Either heel comes down, we point the toes, or we keep the leg lifted wherever we need to for the tightness through that right hip. Last thing, exhale, drag the right heel in. Lift your left leg up towards you. Tuck your shoulders underneath you a little bit more. Tuck your chin in a little bit more. The right leg comes in. So, little hug here. And then again, knees stack over hips, shins parallel. Here we really want to add that pull with our exhale as we press into both sides and we pull back. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Last time. Inhale, start to extend the left leg out. First heel comes down, extend the right heel out. Leg comes down, you may shift your body and that's totally fine as long as we're still supported with the pillow underneath us. Let the legs relax. One more round of breath here. Inhale for length, for space, point those toes. Exhale, left knee comes in. Chin tucks into the chest as we lift the right leg in as well. Good. Little rock with the legs side to side. Pausing here. Let those knees just sort of collapse in towards you. No need to 
to pull them, letting gravity do the work. Again, without lifting your head, bring that chin in a little bit closer towards you. Any reset pose, waterfall pose. We can bring the hands towards the back of the thighs and inhale, extend the legs up straight. Finding your natural edge, your natural stopping point with the legs. Little bounce with those feet. Maybe even kicking them around if that would feel good. If we have lots of energy that we need to get out. And then let them hang. Heels stacked over near where the hips are. comes down, right foot comes down. Set your feet back up. Inhale, we lift the hips. Remove your pillow. Exhale, lower your hips back down. Left foot comes toward the left side of the mat. Right foot comes towards the right. Knees come together. Windshield wipe the legs. Let the gaze turn as well. Get some release through your spine. Maybe arms come over ahead. We reach for elbows. We Twist side to side. Take this time to listen to your body. Is there anything your body needs to get ready for Shavasana? Do we need some side twists? Bring those knees into the chest, dropping them off towards the side. Maybe arms come out to a T gaze. Looks over the knees or towards the other side. Pausing here before I move on. Do we need a happy baby? Reaching for the inner arches, outer arches, or big toes, driving that tailbone down, shoulders or legs, rocking side to side, kicking the legs. What do we need? Do we need a child's pose? Do we need something on our knees before we relax on our spines? Take the next couple minutes, next couple breaths to do whatever you need. If you need to pause the video, if you need to do a lot more other things, feel free to do that. This is your practice. When you're ready, I'm going to come into a stone hinge posture for our final rest. So we want to grab our books, place them up towards the back of our mat, where our feet go, or towards the front of our mat, where our feet go. Bring that pillow or bolster on top of the blocks. Make sure that is stable, nice and secure. Grab your blanket. We can keep the fold that we had or if you want the roll, you can roll it up as well. So your choice, what you like. Blanket comes down. Bring your hips up towards the bolster setup. Relax up and over. So we want to make sure the knees are stacked over the bolster. If the knees are pulled back and the leg is extended and then hovering, it's going to put some pressure on the back of the knee. We want that supported right now. Let the head rest down, arms can be stuck on belly. Arms can be up overhead, down by the sides. If we want a little extra grounding after all that work, we can even bring the blanket, place it on top of our hips. Your choice. Tune back in with your breathing, big belly breaths, little hug at the end. One more body scan, become aware of what's going on. No judgments, just awareness. And then let that go as well. Allow yourself simply to exist here. Nothing else for you to do but to relax. To embrace the rest and digest portion of our brain, of our lives.
of our time our rain the singing bowl. Just really allow yourself, embrace this space, and allow yourself just to be. Thank mm-hmm. you.
Please continue resting here for as long as you like. This is your time. If you're ready to move on with the rest of your day, wiggling fingers, toes, trying to deepen your breathing once more. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Add some movement here, side to side. And drop your knees towards the left side. Resting in the fetal position. Two rounds of breath. Allow yourself just to be here. When you're ready, we inhale, lift up into a comfortable seat. Again, if you'd like to continue resting, stay where you are. Once you get to the top, inhale, arms come out towards the side, up to the sky. Bring the hands together, exhale, come down to prayer. Take one more deep belly breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you in this yin practice. It is my absolute honor to be able to do this for you. The light in me honors the light that is in you. Namaste.